Hello everyone, welcome to New World Creative Tutorials. Today we have a new motion graphics tutorial in our series and I will show you how to create an advanced ring equalizer in Adobe After Effects without using any third party plugin. So create your composition and let's get started. So after creating your composition, bring any audio file you want or music to your composition and then Ctrl Y to create a new solid and let's name this EQ and make it comp size and then hit OK. And then I'm going to select the ellipse tool to create here a mask. So hold shift and control to make a circle here. And so let's make this circle none and we're going to apply to audio spectrum here and so on audio spectrum we're going to audio layer and select here the audio file and then path we're going to select mask one so basically the audio or the spectrum is going to be on this mask so let's open here ll to open this waveform and so we can see here the audio so we're going to put this uh, indicator here on the highest peak here and on this layer here we're going to make the maximum height really really big like something like this and we're going to display option and change that to analog lines so we're going basically to have something like this and as we see here the lines are goes on both sides so we're going to side options and just select the side B so we want it to be outside the mask and so now we're going to actually just adjust in here the look of these uh, spectrum here so maybe start frequency the range we want it to start from something maybe around 500 and maybe the end we can leave that something like this and frequency band maybe we want to put that around 150 and uh, let's first change the color to white and softness we're going to put that to zero and thickness here we have we can leave that at three there and so we're going to have something like this let's preview this and maybe here we need to do some adjustment to make it look better so on maximum height we can change the value there as you see we have the line outside the comp so maybe changing the end frequency and start frequency to get the look we're looking for okay so maybe we're going to leave it like this and now we're going to duplicate this layer control D and now we're going to change the display option to digital and we're going to have these two side A and B so we're going to have something like this as we see this is high pick we don't want so maybe the maximum there I want it to be right there so we're going to copy this value and make it to be the same on the first one so we have something like this and here this uh, thickness we're going to make it two maybe 1.5 on thickness and then we're going to duplicate these one more time and this time I'm going to change these to analog dots and change this to A so we have them on the other side so maybe this is going to put 6 on thickness so we have those dots right there and so let's preview and see how this looks like Thank you. 
So as you see in this preview, it looked pretty cool. And maybe for lines, we're going to hit T to bring opacity and then put there 50%. So just to get the variation of the look on this spectrum here. So as you see, it look a little bit less bright. And now we're going to add a very nice effect to this line to make it look more interesting. So let's create a new adjustment layer, Control alt y to create it. And let's name these effects and put this one just above this uh, layer here, just this one. So let's solve this. And now we're going to apply CC force motion blur on this and you can already see what happened when we apply that. We get a really very nice effect there. So now we're going to do some tweaks on the motion blur sample. So maybe something around 30 and also change the value of shutter angle and see what we can get with this. As you see, we're going, we're getting some very nice looking motion here. So before and after, we are getting a very cool effect. So let's look at these again with the other ones. So let's preview this. So as we see, it's look pretty cool. And now let's colorize this. So to colorize it, let's create another uh, adjustment layer, Control Alt Y, and let's name this color. And then I'm going to add a tint effect. And we're going to map white to any color we want. So for example, red here, and you see we get a very nice uh, color here and then we're going to add a glow if we want to give it very nice uh, glow effects and so you can see already we have getting a very nice glow we can play with the settings here okay so I'm just going to leave it like this but I'm going to add colorama to this so we have more options to colorize this. So as you see, we have this weird locking. So we're going to colorama and modify and then take these modify alpha. So we are getting uh, things fixed here. And on the output cycle here, we can just uh, try different locking here of these uh, colors we have and of course we can play and create variations of colors and we can keep changing the colors on tint effect and also on colorama we can just cycle between the different presets there to have a different looks or we can create our own color and also we can add more glows to make it look very cool and hope you get the idea okay so uh, now let's see how we can create this second example here basically the second one is we have it here symmetrical ring of this spectrum uh, equalizer here. So how we will create this. So control N to create a new composition and let's rename these to bring EQ02 and hit okay. And let's bring the, the audio here. Just going to copy and paste it here. And we're going to create a new solid, make it comp size and let's name this EQ. And First, let's create this uh, circle here, like we did at the first example. And let's apply audio spectrum again and do the same thing here. And so let's make the size. Big here. And let's make the frequency band a lot higher and I'm going to introduce you here to problems so maybe you you would like it to be symmetrical 
instead of this, so so for example, as you see here, sometimes we will run into this like issue here because here we have um, here we have these first vertex here. So for example, if we change it to this one, we want it to be first vertex, you would see that we don't get this seamless uh, transition here between the star, because it starts this way and end here, between the frequency. So maybe we, we want to look for something to look like a seamless uh, transition and also to be maybe symmetrical. So what we're going to do is deleting this mask here. Let's delete this as well. And we're going to create here a mask. So from center, like from here, Hold shift to right here. We're creating this mask and we're going to apply audio spectrum again. And we're going to choose here audio and change, change it this none to mask one. So we're having something like this. We're going to adjust here the look. Okay, so maybe something like this. And let's change the color to white. And we're going to have something like this. And we're going to add another effect called mirror. And here we're going to divide these comp size, divide it by two, divide this. by two and we're going to get the other half right there. So we're going to have basically something like this. And now we're going to control D to duplicate this and we can start uh, doing blocks we want. So maybe like this, make this line maybe thicker five and let's put these 50% opacity for this ones and we're going to duplicate this again and change this to side P and change it to dots so basically we're going to have something like this and so what we're going to do now is we are going to pre-compose all of this In this AQ01, and then we're going to apply polar coordinates and change the type to rect to polar and make this 100%. And so we're getting something like this. Let's preview and see how this looks like. So as you see, hope the idea was very clear and we can do the same thing as we colorize this. I'm going to copy this color and just paste it here and we can get the colors we want. So this was the start of today. Hope it was very useful for you guys. And if you have any question, you can just comment and I will do my best to be responsive. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more tutorials coming soon. Thank you for watching.